Ever thought about the speed of light? It's fast, right? But what if it's not as fast as you think? Often we hear the speed of light described in numbers so large they're nearly impossible to comprehend. But let's break it down a bit. Imagine it as a cosmic speed limit, a constant that's woven into the very fabric of our universe. It's the pace at which light and only light can travel through the vacuum of space. Sounds quick and it is in terms we're familiar with. But when we start considering the vast distances of the cosmos, suddenly, that speed doesn't seem quite as impressive. Compared to the immense scale of the universe, the speed of light might seem more like a leisurely stroll than a lightning-fast dash. So fast as it may seem, the speed of light might just be a sluggish pace in the grand scheme of the universe. To understand why the speed of light might be considered slow, we must first grasp the sheer scale of the universe. When we talk about the universe, we're not just talking about our neighborhood or our city, not even our planet or our solar system. We're speaking of an expanse so vast and so immense that distances are measured in light years. Now, what's a light year you might ask? It's the distance light travels in one year, moving at a dizzying speed of approximately 186,000 miles per second. That's like going around the Earth seven and a half times in just one second. But even at this mind-boggling speed, it would take light over four years to reach the nearest star to us, Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.2 light years away. Let's put that into perspective. If you were to hop onto a commercial jet, cruising at a comfortable speed of around 570 miles per hour, it would take you approximately 2 million years to reach Proxima Centauri. That's about the same time it took for our ancestors to evolve from early hominids into the modern humans we are today. But wait, there's more. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, is about 100,000 light years across. That means even if you could travel at the speed of light, it would still take you 100,000 years to cross from one end of our galaxy to the other. And the observable universe? That's estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter. So, you see, even though light is the fastest thing we know of, the universe is so staggeringly big that even at light speed it would take billions of years to traverse it. When we look at it this way, light speed seems more like a cosmic crawl, doesn't it? Light speed isn't just slow on a cosmic scale. It also limits our understanding and exploration of the universe. It's like trying to learn about a vast, sprawling mansion by peering through a tiny keyhole. The speed of light determines the size of this keyhole, our observable universe. The observable universe is all the cosmic matter that we can potentially observe from Earth. It's a sphere with a radius of about 93 billion light years. Everything beyond that is simply too far away. The light from these distant regions hasn't had enough time to reach us since the Big Bang. To put it another way, when we gaze at a star a billion light years away, we're not seeing it as it is now, but as it was a billion years ago. The further we look, the further back in time we see. This time delay, caused by the finite speed of light, restricts our view and knowledge of the universe. It's like a cosmic fog, obscuring our sight of the universe's farthest reaches and earliest moments. So, the speed of light isn't just slow, it's also a barrier to our understanding of the universe. But there's more to the story of light speed. It's not just a speed limit, it's a cornerstone of physics. It's time we introduce a man who needs no introduction in the realm of physics, Albert Einstein. His theory of relativity, a groundbreaking revelation, is fundamentally based on one key principle. The speed of light remains constant. Now what does this mean? Picture this. You're on a spaceship traveling close to the speed of light. If you were to switch on a flashlight, would the beam of light race away from you at the speed of light? According to Einstein, yes it would. Even though you're moving close to light speed, the light from your flashlight would still move away at the same speed. This principle leads to some truly mind-bending phenomena. Let's take time dilation for instance. The idea that time itself can stretch and squeeze might seem straight out of a science fiction novel. But it's a reality in our universe, a direct result of light's consistent speed. So, while the speed of light might be slow in some ways, in others it's at the very heart of our understanding of the universe.